Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more of the crust. Today, we've got an agenda of things to do. Um, I think the first agenda is going to be to try to fix our power situation here. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I want to look more into this power thing, but I, I, we, we keep hitting this thing of like needing more power. Um, and I'm actually kind of curious if can we throw batteries down here? Oh, we can. Okay. So that is actually, that actually might be um, super handy for us. And then we also have a fuel generator. Um, and then we also have, we actually have an RTG. Wow, an RTG, a radio isotope, uh, radio isotope thermoelectric generator. That's pretty cool. Generate, oh my gosh, it only generates 16 power though. Um, but still, that's like, that's forever. So that's pretty cool. We also have a fuel generator. Um, but I feel like we have a power situation issue because of how much power can be delivered here. And that's because these batteries can only do, um, 10 megawatts of power so if i have 14 of them um there's only you know 140 megawatts of power and i think we're pulling more than that so our balance is like so we would need like 28 batteries i think in order to get that balance going well anyways we're gonna work on that a little bit but then we're also gonna go ahead and start working on um some better um better use to make our smart concrete yeah we're gonna work <laughs> we're gonna work on that so um yeah hopefully you're all having one for that i'm having a fantastic day cannot complain no complaints here whatsoever so let's see here um it is nighttime and i think what i want to do is i want to start with you know what let's go ahead and do this let's get some things marked to build here not necessarily started but um just going so let's get a let's get a regular extractor here that's gonna be 58.7 silicon so we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna get our single regolith extractor deal and we're gonna run that there and then this is gonna do silicon this is just gonna do whatever and then that is actually gonna run so because that silicon is actually what we need in order to make where is it the smart concrete factory because we can use a slag and the uh silicon powder in order to make smart concrete so that is actually a better way to make that so we're gonna go ahead and use that now we're gonna have to bring slag in here so oh and we have to bring all right so we'll, we'll we'll do this we'll put that like that we'll call that good for now okay and then actually you know what let's go ahead and get a storage we'll get a single resource storage item thing deal uh where is the right there okay so that's gonna that we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and let them build that uh we'll get that going and then we'll eventually get that powered up but i just want them to build it for now and then what we're gonna do from there is i need to hook into so this is slag this is also producing slag correct yes so if i go into the conveyors slag is coming out here we, but we could put slag in there so we could actually send this slag into this side right here and then it could go this way and then we could send this slag all the way over here oh that's a very expensive belt though that is quite an expensive belt so we might need to go ahead and get some more money before we do that so let's go ahead and yeah i think we're gonna have to go ahead and do that I think we need to get some more money going here. So let's see, let's look at our contracts. Let's look at our market. Uh, did we already sell the steel? Wait, what were we selling? Were we selling steel? Uh, no, sell. We do have a bunch of components. Like if I sold components, how much are we looking at? Ooh, that's actually good money right there. 41, so like, let's keep, like, let's say we kept 10, right? We sold 31. That'd be a total of 55,000. That's actually not a bad deal because we're making components anyways. And then what's silicon? Oh, silicon's not worth anything right now. We have a ton of silicon as well. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and sell that. That should give us enough money to do the things that we want to do. So we'll go ahead and let that happen. And then from there, we have to wait till we actually do it though. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have 7,000 monies left to our name. And then we are still doing research on the, um, well, wait, did we finish? Hold on. 
Uh, fundamental science lab. Oh, did we finish the fundamental science lab already? And I just didn't, oh my gosh. We finished it and I didn't even, I wasn't even working on it. Okay. Fundamental science lab. We need to get that in there because that's going to get more science and more research stuff for, going for us. Um, and I also believe with that, we can start getting some um, like fundamental stuff. We can start getting some fundamental stuff. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, but solar panel upgrade the new silicon array. Our new silicon alloy increases the efficiency of the solar panels by 15%. Uh, large battery. We need to get the large battery going as well. But that is actually being researched right now. Ooh, it's actually almost done too. So, um, yeah, we might get that going. That might actually help us with our power quite a bit. Because our power's lasting us. It's just we can't get enough of it. You know what I mean? Um, our our hose is too small. It's too narrow. We can't get enough. We have a constant flow of the water, of the electricity, but we don't have a large enough hose to deliver as much as we need. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a thing. But, yeah, let's go ahead and let these things happen. I think that'll work. And then how is this guy looking here? 8 of 31. Let's go ahead and prioritize that so that will get done. And then what do we need for this guy? Plates. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we got some money. That's good. I'm not going to build the belt yet, though. I just wanted to have the money here just so we're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and just let everything continue on. I'm still waiting for some things to finish here. We've got this guy. Wait, did we not finish this? What is this waiting for? Is this waiting for the green? <gasps> it's waiting for the green. Okay, so this is waiting for green research. So the expedition control center is going to finish first. The large battery. You know what? Actually, let's do the let's get that large battery going. It's only 950. We really I feel like we really need it. Oh, our large battery is done. Research complete. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what is actually required for a large battery? Like, do I even have remotely the stuff to make this thing? Uh yeah, we have everything. Sweet. Okay, and that only costs three CPU, and its its output is limited to 50 megawatts. Capacity is 500,000 units. So what is our capacity right now? So 1,500. So three of those will equal all of these, and each one of these takes how many CPUs? Just one. So basically, if we look in here, um, a small battery has a capacity of 100,000. This has 500. Okay, so these are these are significantly, significantly better than what we've got going on for us. Okay, cool. So let me see here. Let's see if we can, yeah, because if we can get these things started, um, that's going to make a huge deal. Okay, we're going to put one there. I know it looks like it's out here, but that's because I spaced it to where if I deconstruct these, it'll line up right here and go boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? So let's get one there. Let's get this guy hooked in here. That's going to be huge. Because that'll give us another 50, which will help our overall bound or our power consumption during the nighttime a lot. So we don't have to turn off machines because I want to keep things running throughout the night. Ooh, our large battery's coming online. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. Now I know it doesn't have any power now, so it's not gonna really benefit us right away, but uh it is going to be oh, it's gonna be super nice. That is going to be so nice. And actually, our power is about running out anyway. So um, I think I want to go ahead and get a few of these queued up here. How much? What, what all do we need for these? So it is the um, iron or the steel, the silicon. That's easy enough. The aluminum, which we have, the plates, which we have, and the smart brake. We have enough for all of that stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's see, we are about to, we're about to hit daytime which means that we're not going to need all of these batteries. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct these and we're going to replace these ones right here. We'll replace those and then we'll go ahead and get these ones uh, lined up right here because if we get what three more, that's going to give us two million power, which is going to be more than we have currently have. And that's also going to give us a throughput of is it 50? So two, that's going to give us a throughput of 250, which is almost <laughs> almost what we need right now almost so not quite but almost and then if uh, if we start producing fuel as well we should be um we should be golden yeah we'll see we'll see uh you know i just realized these guys are not connected anymore but we can't relax just yet this is only the beginning there we go okay all right so now Let's grab 
Uh, fully equipped, we've done a lot of work, but we can't relax just yet. This is only the beginning. Okay, got it. Uh, let's get some power. Let's get our large batteries. Let me put one there, there, and there. And then we'll go ahead and wire these up. Like that. Director, Alice. There's an opportunity to capitalize on our lunar venture. Must have slept through the oh. Director, we're in a unique situation. A batch of silicon. No alternative to lunar production. Okay, what do we need? How much how much silicon do we, we need? We need a landing platform to exchange resources with Earth. We got a landing if platform right here. Built one recently. Yep. All right. So, the new contract. The, the screen of the main categories of the controls. You're now the left. All right. So, we need uh oh, indefinite time frame. This window provides all the 45 easy enough. So, we're going to get 18,000 credits, 400 relations, two reputation, and we're going to get a bonus in engineering points for 90 days. So, let's go ahead. We'll send the 45 resources. Yeah, not even an issue. Interface in the Perfect. Um, and then let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. We need to do what? Uh, 45. So, max out at 45. And change cargo pod, landing pod. So we should go ahead and hit send. And then that's going to send the rocket back. And then we're going to get the contract filter. Cool. So this is where, this is where, this is where I get excited about stuff. Because I like making bulk. I like having extra and I like having storage for it. So this way, hopefully we will be able to utilize contracts and we'll be able to bulk up on all of our resources here and uh, make all the money. So like that's, that's the goal here. <laughs> that is the goal. But we gotta get we gotta get our power fixed first. So like these things, these gotta come online. Uh, we actually probably honestly, I could probably use a whole nother row of these. But I feel like if I do that, that's gonna be that's gonna put a lot of uh, strain on this. And we also have to make sure. I think our people are looking good. Like I think we have. What are we getting from this? Colonist efficiency. Oh, if we get more people in here, we get more efficiency status on this. So that's good. How's this looking? That's ice. That's producing. How is is everything looking okay? Again, I'm still I still don't really I'm still not really sold on that, but that's fine. Now while we're also doing this, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get some rover going here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's send uh Farhead Control Tower. Let's go ahead and set an expedition. Select transport. Let's do the scout and go investigate. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to get that guy going more often. So that way I know like what's uh, what's going on and maybe we'll find some goodies along the way. All right, four batteries online. Heck yes. And we just sent our cargo pod, which is fantastic as well. Uh, look at that charging up. We got 3.1 million. <laughs> That's fantastic. Director. The funds have already been deposited into our account. Heck yes. At this rate, we'll soon recoup our expedition and start making a profit. All right. So we've got contract completed. Wonderful. So now we actually have the bonus research as well. So I need to pay attention to that. And then we have a new contract available. Um, so let's see. What do you want? You want steel. You want 60 steel. Um, and we have an indefinite time for that. Okay, cool. So I'm not going to pay attention to that one quite yet. Uh, like I said, I want to focus on power, getting everything powered up, making sure we have the power to uh, to mine and then bulking up on all of our resources. I actually don't know if we are going to have... Let's see here. Let me look at our power again. Um, so if I even if I get more large batteries here, are we looking? Are we even looking at being able to fully charge these things? I don't know that we're actually even looking at being able to fully charge them yet. So let's at least go ahead. Let's get two more of those. And I'm going to go ahead and get. Let's start with two more of these to start with. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Um, I need to, I need to break a connection here. So we'll dismantle that wire, put this wire to here and this wire to there. Okay. We'll do that for now. Yeah. We'll get these two going. Those two additional solar panels. Yeah. We'll do those first. So that way hopefully we can hit the, um, hit our power. Now let's see. What is the cost to speed this up and a 50% speed bonus to the modules production cycle. So 25,000 in order to get us more steel. Um, our contract, you know what? I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and hit that. It's going to give us negative 25,000, but that's going to give us more. Um, this is going to give us more per minute, which is then going to give us more over here, which is then going to allow us to feel that, finish that contract faster. So that is a worthwhile upgrade. 
I would say we could hit this one, but I know I just don't think we're I don't think we're there yet. Um, now this guy, we should be able to process it down fine. Because it seems like iron we are able to keep up with a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. 50% faster. Heck yes. And then we're at 39 on the steel. How is everything else looking over here? Ooh, they're contributing 160. Oh, very nice. Oh, I just realized by me doing this, I just cut all of these out of the power situation. I was like, how are we negative? No, we're not negative. I literally just cut all those power out. That cut all that power off for no reason. Um, okay, what did we just finish? Elevator for conveyor belts, a transportation device to quickly move resources between underground and surface levels. Okay, very good, very good as well. Um, we're working on the multi regolith refiner module uh, for efficient regolith processing that extracts all types of oxide. So this, I believe, is the upgrade to the is it the upgrade to the single the single regolith extractor, single regolith refinery, multi regolith refinery. So we should we could run multiple things in here and have multiple things come out. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how that's going to go. <gasps> hey, amidst the desolate landscape, the solitary control tower stands tall. There are no evidence signs of damage, yet the structure appears abandoned for quite some time. However, uh, no souls in sight, nor is the staff. The emergency boxes are empty, leaving only. OK, so we are getting Hey, we're getting some bonus research. Awesome. OK, making sure everything's going there. That's looking good. And then we also have large storage smelting furnace upgrade. Yeah, this I think this might help us um, maybe get rid of some of these and maybe do some reorganization. I really want to do some reorganization. I really badly want to reorganize some stuff, but I just don't feel like we're there yet. So since we're on the uh, the the the, re the thing of power here, did we figure out what we needed in order to produce the gas? What did we need for that? Smelting, rolling mill, smart concrete, fuel factory. So we need aluminum and ice. Okay. Aluminum and ice. So our aluminum is coming from over here. Our ice is coming all the way from up there. I mean, I guess there's another ice thing right there. So our multi regular refiner is almost done. And that is actually the thing I want to play with next, because if we can get rid of a couple of these refiners, because we have one, we've got a refiner there, refiner there, refiner there, and a refiner over here. If we can get rid of a couple of these and have one refiner that can handle more stuff, um, I think that would be pretty neat, but I don't know if that's how that works exactly. So let's see, we're going to need mining multi the refiner extracts all types of oxides from regolith for further processing. It has separate conveyor outputs for each oxide. So we can bring regolith. Okay, so hold on. What is what are we putting out here? Oh. So how does that work? Does it know which regolith came from which area? So if I go into oh no, it's not smart factory. It is the multi-regolith factory. Okay. No way. That seems way too easy. Is that does that seem way too easy? So you can have one input. Do you have to select what the output? No, because it, it says it can do all of them. Extracts all types of oxides from regolith for further processing. It has separate conveyor outputs for each oxide. Because this is all this is outputting is regolith. But it's, it's out producing. It's pr producing iron regolith. Interesting. OK. All right. Before I place that down, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to like, I want to verify that this works the way I think it does before I do anything. And I want to figure out a good place to put it so I don't have to move it. Uh, did it require anything expensive that we don't already have? Um, okay. The microprocessors. So it does require three of those. Um, I don't really have a super great way of getting those. Not yet anyways, but I think that's something that we can make and we should be able to get going here pretty soon. Okay, I'm gonna go, we're gonna do some testing here. I'm gonna test it on the silicon line. So we're gonna dismantle. Oh good, I get I get money back. Well, that sounds terrifying. All right, so let's grab multi-regolith refiner. And I wanna place it like right in here. Okay, so that is done. So I don't have to select. It will automatically just do 
whatever it needs to do. Okay, so let's see. If I grab this, are you kidding me? I placed it the wrong way around. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I placed it backwards. I placed it backwards. I can't even believe that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can believe that. Because that is what I would do. You know what? Maybe I should. Should we? Should we just try something? Here? We're gonna try something here. We're gonna disassemble all this. We're gonna see if we. We're gonna see what we can do here. I'm gonna see if we can't get everything to work, and um, I'm gonna see if I can just redo this whole area. I don't know if it's gonna work right now. I'm gonna make a save just in case, but we're gonna try. All right. So we made a thing. We made a save. This is called before breakdown, and we're gonna go ahead and break down all of these buildings. There's nothing in that one. All right, breakdown's happening. It is It is happening. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy, too. Get rid of that belt. Okay. We're breaking down all of these machines. All of these machines are going to go, and we're going to do... Uh, we're going to try something different. We're going to try and see if we can't organize this in a way that I want to, and we'll just see how this goes. Okay, so everything is basically torn down here, and we're gonna start. We're gonna start fresh. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna use our multi regolith uh, extractor here. Now, what I want to do is turn it this way, and I actually want to have two of these. I want to have one there, and I want to have one like right here. So that, those are gonna be our two. That's gonna be the two that we use. And then what I want to do is I want to have conveyors because this is gonna be um, let's see input output. So that's gonna be slag. This is gonna be our regolith. So we're going to have everything come in and go from there. You know what? Actually, hold on. Let's see. Okay. So conveyor there to there, there to there, but then there to there and there to there. So everything's going to come in on this line right here. Perfect. It's exactly what I want to happen. So let's start with that. Oh my gosh. I just realized something. We can make this so much. Okay. All right, we can make this so much better. The way that we make this better is we don't build side by side. We build in line. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. This is what we're going to do. Uh, wrong button. This we're dismantling those. Go ahead. Dismantle those. All right. This, this is this. Okay. This, I think, the, I, I think we're onto something here. If we run them in line, we're not going to run as many underground things because we can run them right next to each other, or they can literally run straight in a line uh, in front of each other. This, this, this might be something. Okay, so slag is literally going to go right there. So that's fine. I feel like we might need to move this one. We might need to move. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is this might this might be it. Okay, so now that we have these in line like this, let's go into our conveyors and let's look here. So we can still see our resources. Um, I went ahead and changed our deposits to the corresponding sides now because this side has these two resources. This side has the same two resources. So we should be able to bring these two together, bring them into one resource thing. Same with this. And it should be cheaper because we shouldn't have to run nearly as many belts underneath each other and kind of like get all squiggly. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Uh, we're going to run that one into there. And then this one obviously is going to have to run into there as well. But we need to also to figure out all of these. And ideally what I'd like to do is I'd like to run. Oh, this is actually, you know what? We're still going to, we're still going to run in the same exact issue because I'm still going to have to run a belt underneath in order to get underneath this belt into there. Oh yeah. This is going to be, you know what? I, I think, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference either way. Okay, so let me see here. How is everything looking here? Actually, I think we've got it all connected. And we're only at 65,000 instead of what we were before. So let's see. Uh, oh, no, we don't, have to, we don't have the slag. Okay, hold on. So we're going to have to do something like this. Oh, no. The slag barely, it just, it just barely won't make it. So I need to get this slag out of here and onto this belt. How do I do that? I would say we could go from here, but it has to be a straight line. So that's not going to work. I could go this way, but I have to go underground belt here, underground belt here, then all the way over there, which also isn't super great. I mean, I could go here, but then I have to run all the way around over there. Ooh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's run this one out as far as we can run this belt into here. And then what we'll do is we'll run one 
from there to there and then from there to there maybe what are we at what are we at build by 75,000 oh my gosh there 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 okay so that's everything for 84 minus the connections um which to get connected is gonna be 87 oh it's gonna be it's gonna be over expensive it's gonna be too expensive i'm not gonna be able to afford it 96 in order to get everything connected that way oh my gosh it's just it's exactly it's the exact same cost it's the exact same it doesn't it doesn't matter it's the same squiggly spaghetti regardless i was thinking i connect i could connect these two together and then run them out wait if i ran these two together but i have to have one of them one of them has to go underneath of the other one so like this belt is all connected just fine but this one has to go underneath this belt's connected all fine but this one has to go underneath and then this one has to go under twice so now if i could if i could get this one to go under once oh my gosh okay i think i did it for 90. i think i did it for under 90. we're at 89,000, so i'll have a thousand i'll have a thousand left over hold on let me make sure i think we did it and i got everything connected so basically what i did is in i put i put these right here and that allowed me to sneak this guy over through here into here so i didn't actually have to put another underpass well i still had to use one underpass per I had to use one underpass per um per resource but i only had to use one i didn't have to use two and i didn't have to duck these underneath i only had to duck the slag underneath once so all of that looks good and that would actually get everything online and actually producing stuff that should work i think we can do that let's do it build all and what is the deal here i'm not sure what the deal here is okay it's good Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give a chance for everything to get built and we'll see what happens here. Oh, I didn't realize that power pulls costed money. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go to the top. We're gonna have to sell. We're gonna have to sell. Contracts. We have this contract here. How much steel do we have? We have 122 steel. If we do this contract, that'll give us 20,000. And let's do that. Send resources. This. Ascend. Okay. We'll do that. Director, our main account balance has reached a critical low, which oh. causes a significant risk. Oh, we have a reserves. Balance. We just got 30,000 for reserves. Oh my God. Okay. Things are online. Belts are in and it looks like we have production of resources. Objective achieved. Oh my gosh. We're actually producing things. We've done it. We're producing. It's happening. It feels good. Now, basically, uh, hold on, we go and select resources. We can select slag for that. So we have slag for that one. We've got that one. We've got that one. Okay, so all the resources are going to their appropriate resource type, hopefully. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That means from now, so I could actually upgrade this machine instead. And then we could director. basically, hey, Appreciate thank director. you. Appreciate it. Okay, director, 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 director. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got that going. We got this going. Everything's going. Oh my gosh. That was an interesting thing. Now we have some money, which is very nice. Um, contract crisis smart. Okay, so we're going to have to get into all that. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was interesting to figure out. I'm glad we got it figured out though. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you think I overcomplicated it? I don't feel like I did. I feel like I feel like we did an okay job. Um, we have two of these, which is basically going to handle all of the basic processing for now. I don't know what we're going to if we need to increase in the future. I don't know what the scale of this game is as far as factory stuff goes. So um, I'm hoping that two of these will be good to last us for the future. And then like upgrading those two will be good. And then with everything going, everything basically coming into here, um, that means that I can send like this guy. I can send this guy, belt it straight into here and then have it go through this system belt everything that i get basically except for like ice obviously ice, ice is not gonna go through there but like i can build this all the way back over here have it all go through this system and um it should be good and have it distributed accordingly and then from here then we can you know send it out wherever it needs to go so yeah we're working on it we're doing things doing stuff but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you did like subscribe all the things i will see you in the next one bye everybody